see how you can animate the pen tool mask like Adobe Premiere Pro in Luma Fusion. Now you can see that you are animating the mask. Again, one more time. Again, one more time. You can animate the masking. Hi, I'm Yad, and this is Filmography. This is the second part of the previous video, which is pen tool masking like Adobe Premiere Pro in LumaFusion. This time, we will learn how to animate the masking. So previously, you have watched how to do a pen tool masking like Adobe Premiere Pro in LumaFusion. In my previous video, if you didn't watch the video, please do watch that video first. I will leave the link in the description. In that video, I told you that there is a way to animate the masking. Before that, make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you can learn a lot of filmmaking tutorial with simple method, awesome video. In the masking, you saw a horror shot movie which is have been done earlier only using a mobile platform. You want to see the full video, I'll leave the link in the description. For this tutorial, we will be using same two applications. First, our LumaFusion app. Second, it's not Fonto, but Photoshop. Adobe Photoshop, but not in PC. Adobe Photoshop in iPad, which is a photo editing app from Adobe for iPad. Other than Adobe Photoshop, in iPad, you can use any type of photo editing app in mobile platform, like for example, PixArt or Affinity Photo. It's your choice. As long as you have a photo editing app, this effect will work. So you have seen the outcome. Let's see how this effect can be done. So in your new project in LumaFusion, add the clip that you want first. Zoom out until you can see every single frame. For this clip, my masking will be my hand movement. So for that, I select the frame where I start to move my hand from below to up. Exactly at that frame, I take a screenshot. And I start to take screenshot for every single movement that I did. The best thing is to do, to take a screenshot for every single frame. This will make your animation is more smooth and nice. After you take all your necessary screenshot, now exit the app and go to Photoshop app in your iPad. Tap import and open and then select photos. Then select your first screenshot that you took to do your masking. Add a new empty layer, then select brush tool, change the color to RGB, and then change the value for red, green, and blue. For red, change to four. For green, change to 244. And for blue, change to number four. This is the best color to key out later in LumaFusion. After that, start to draw your mask. See, now you can draw your desired mask in any shape, any design that you want. Then after you draw the mask, select the screenshot, delete, and then export the image as PNG. Save the image. Then without deleting the existing mask, add a new layer and select the second screenshot. Once you select the second screenshot, you're able to see it fit perfectly on the layer. In your second screenshot, you can start to adjust the masking again by drawing more green color on the desired area. Repeat this process until you finish all the screenshot. Yes, it does take some time to draw every single masking, but trust me, in LumaFusion, it will show a best result. And this method is actually applicable for small length clip, not a big length because it take a lot of time. And also this is applicable for people who doesn't have the ability to use Adobe Premiere Pro or any other editing software in PC. Using a mobile platform, you also able to animate the mask. So this is the method. It quite a long process, but it can be done and it look nice. After you adjust all your mask, now back to your LumaFusion app, go to your first screenshot frame that you took and then take the first mask that you have done and drag into the frame. Just select one frame and then cut the image, remove and then go for the second movement and then select that mask and then cut. In this case, I'm using for every single frame. 
if let's say you skip the frame let's say you put two three frame then only you have some movement then no issue just follow that according to what you were doing in my case i'm doing for every single frame so every single frame i start to cut the image one frame at a time after you keep adding the masking image eventually you able to see the mask is start to animate after you finish this process you will be able to see the whole mask is animating like this see you already created an animated mask next is simple just export this file as a video to your device and then go to your main project add the clip that you want to put at the mask in your first layer of timeline then add the clip that you did an animated mask on top of the clip so here i'm choosing this part where the car is moving so i cut and then i put according to the mask length once you add the mask clip on the layer double click to edit and then go to color and effect go to keyhole and then select green screen once you select the green screen you can see the clip behind the main clip then adjust your parameter according to your needs and now you already finish the work like i told you you can draw a mask like adobe premiere pro and also you able to animate the mask now you know how to animate pen tool masking like adobe premiere pro but in mobile platform with luma fusion and photoshop or any other editing app so that's it for now i'll see you in my next video until then signing off yat from filmography remember simple method awesome video